BMW has released an all-electric Tesla competitor, the BMW i4. In this video, we're going to compare the i4 M50 against a Tesla Model 3 performance. We're going to dig into the physics and I'm going to provide you 0 to 60 quarter mile times top speed information. Let's hop in. So on your screen here, you can see the laundry list of specifications of these two cars. The Tesla is a little bit cheaper starting at $59,000 US and the BMW is starting at about $66,000 US. Both cars are dual motor setups with the motor powering the front two wheels and a motor powering the rear two wheels. On the spec list, the glaring difference is going to be the weight. So the Tesla weighs right around 4,000 pounds and the BMW is 1,000 pounds heavier at 5,018 pounds. Battery capacity in the BMW is about 84 kilowatt hours and battery capacity in the Model 3 is about 80 kilowatt hours. Power output in the Tesla is around 500 horsepower. I put 475 in quotes because it's been quoted in various places, but we're gonna get to a really detailed number later, so just hang on. Top speed in the Tesla is 162 miles an hour, electronically limited, and range is 315 miles as provided by the EPA. Power is up in the BMW to overcome all that weight, and range comes down with 227 miles with a 20 inch wheel setup and 270 miles with the 19 inch wheel setup. Let's hop into a little bit of physics and see just how hard these cars can accelerate. So what we're first gonna do is calculate the peak theoretical acceleration of the Tesla. Power in the Tesla is actually unknown. It's no longer advertised on Tesla's website, but I did come across a video from a YouTuber called Misha Charadin where he puts a Model 3 performance on a dyno and he measures 516 horsepower at the wheels and 480 foot pounds at the wheels. And so I'm gonna use those figures. The Model 3 performance has a final drive ratio of 9.04 in the front and the rear. That means that the motor RPM is gonna be reduced by about nine times, which is gonna multiply torque by about nine times. So to calculate wheel torque, we can just multiply our final drive ratio by our torque at the wheels. So 480 times 9.04, we get about 4,300 foot-pounds of torque, which is equivalent to 5,900 newton meters roughly. And to calculate wheel force, we can take that wheel torque number in newton meters and divide by the radius of the tire and the wheel. That radius is 0.3365 meters. And we find that the wheel force is 17,483 newtons. Since we know the wheel force, we can actually calculate the theoretical max acceleration of the car. And so there's a really simple formula, force equals mass times acceleration. If we rearrange that to solve for acceleration, we get that acceleration is 8.99 meters per second squared which is basically equivalent to 0.917 Gs of acceleration. Moving over to the BMW side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We don't know the actual output at the wheels. BMW's advertising 586 foot-pounds. So first, I'm gonna assume that that is a number at the wheels, which it probably isn't, but just hang on for a second. The final drive ratio in the BMW is 9.34. So using the same methods, we see that wheel force is 21,760 newtons. Solving for acceleration, we get a peak value of 0.975 Gs, which is really, really high. But as I mentioned before, this is assuming the BMW is making that 586 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels, which it likely isn't. BMW is usually generous with their estimates. They like to provide values that are closer to the wheel figures than the motor figures. But I'm gonna assume a worst case 90% drivetrain loss. And in that scenario, the car still has a peak theoretical acceleration of about 0.88 Gs. So we have our numbers. The Tesla has a peak theoretical acceleration of 0.92 Gs roughly. And the BMW has a peak theoretical acceleration of about 0.88 Gs to 0.98 Gs. And so if you convert those into zero to 60 times, you can just use a simple equation. Time is equal to velocity over acceleration. And we know that 60 miles an hour is equivalent to about 27 meters per second. So plugging the numbers into the equation, we see that the Tesla would have a theoretical best zero to 60 time of 2.98 seconds. And on the BMW side, the time would range from 2.81 to 3.12 seconds. We know the cars aren't this fast, so hold on. We're gonna get to comparing these to real world results and you're gonna know why these numbers are actually better than what we're seeing in the real world. Let's talk about motor speed for a second. So tire circumference in the Tesla is 2.11 meters. The BMW does have staggered tires, so I'm gonna use an average of the two sizes. In the Tesla, motor RPM at 60 miles an hour is 6,891. In the BMW, it's 7,011. 
And if you're curious about their motor RPM at top speed, I've gone ahead and calculated it. The Tesla is turning about 18,600 RPMs at its top speed of 162 miles an hour. And the BMW is turning about 16,350 RPMs at its top speed of 140 miles an hour. So in our calculation earlier, we were assuming that peak torque is happening all the way through the 60 mile an hour run, but that is actually not true. And so in the Tesla, I'm gonna quote our numbers that I used earlier. 516 horsepower and 480 foot-pounds of torque. There's a relation between horsepower and torque and it follows the equation horsepower is equal to torque multiplied by motor RPM divided by 5,252. And if you plug in our RPM at 60 miles an hour, you see that horsepower would go all the way up to 630. But we know that horsepower is limited to 516, so that torque is gonna drop off well before 60 miles an hour. So let's calculate something I call crossover RPM or a torque taper point. This is basically where torque has to start coming down to accommodate that constant peak power. And so we know that power cannot go above 516 in this car. And so if we plug into the equation 516 over 480 multiplied by our 5,252, we see that that torque taper point happens at 5,646 RPMs. If we do the same for the BMW, we can see that at 7,000 RPMs, the car would need 781 horsepower to sustain that 586 foot-pounds of torque, which is absolutely not happening. So the crossover RPM point in the BMW is going to be less and it comes in at 5,164 RPMs. So why am I talking about torque taper and crossover RPM? What this means is these cars have peak torque from zero until their crossover RPM and then that torque is gonna to start to drop to accommodate that peak power. So that means that what we calculated earlier in our theoretical calculation for zero to 60 time, we were assuming that torque is constant, but in reality, it's actually gonna fall off well before that zero to 60 time. And we could model that with a function. It's a little bit complicated. Despite having less torque and power, the Tesla is faster to 60. Its torque tapers at a higher point and it does weigh a thousand pounds less. So that is a huge factor. We don't know how much power and torque the BMW is making at the wheels. We do know that that higher final drive is helping get a better peak acceleration figure, but it does mean that that torque taper is coming earlier in the speed range. What you see on your screen is a quarter mile drag race simulator. We have the Model 3 performance on top the i4 m50 on the bottom and we can see a 3.040 to 60 in the model 3 performance and that's with the first one foot rail subtracted from the time and the quarter mile comes in at 11.4 for the model 3 and 11.5 for the bmw and notice that the bmw trap speed is faster at about 120 miles an hour I've set up a rolling race from 50 miles an hour that'll go a half mile tesla on top bmw on bottom we can see the tesla does get the jump a little bit but as time goes on, the BMW is going to start pulling and it's eventually going to pass the Tesla at about the 130 mile an hour mark. And through the half mile, we can see it takes about 16 seconds for the BMW and 16.4 for the Tesla, again, starting at 50 miles an hour. And the 60 to 130 time is about one and a half seconds faster in the BMW. The reason why the BMW passes the Tesla at speed is because of the shape of their power curves. The BMW has a perfectly flat power curve all the way to top speed, while the Tesla has a huge taper. You'll see on the screen the huge difference that I'm trying to illustrate. If you want to check out these cars and race them for yourself, you can on motormatchup.com. I'll put a link in a comment pin below. Happy 2022, everyone. I hope you have a great year. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.